Happy New Year and welcome to Nasdaq Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at Nasdaq, with daily insight on the Nasdaq 100 Index, or the NDX, which is made up of 100 of the largest domestic and international non-financial innovative companies listed right here on the Nasdaq stock market. The NDX has been the barometer for U.S. large cap growth and also one of the best performing indexes over the last decade and a half. Let's pull up our first chart here. This performance is quite incredible. Here's some stats from Bloomberg. The combined value of assets in the Nasdaq 100 jumped by more than 7 trillion U.S. dollars, ending with the best year since the bull run began, powered by a near doubling in Apple and gains exceeding 50% in Microsoft and Facebook. The tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 surged 38% over the past 12 months. That's the biggest increase since going back all the way to 2009. Now, our technician on the Nasdaq Market Intelligence Desk, he points out that from the start of 2010 to present, the Nasdaq 100 had a total return of 424%. Now, for comparison, the next top performers are the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average with total returns of 255 and 250% respectively. Put another way, the Nasdaq 100 outperformed its large cap brethren by 169 and 174 percentage points. How is that? for Alpha. Let's get to our next chart, turning to today's activity to take off the first trading session of the year and decade, getting a boost in sentiment after China's central bank cut the amount of cash that lenders must hold in reserve and signaled continued action in 2020, releasing a wave of cash into the financial system in an effort to boost lending. The Nasdaq 100 trading higher by just about 1%, hitting new all-time intraday highs with Trip.com, NetEase, Baidu, Mercado Libre, and JD.com. They're all leading in performance, while Mondelez, Kraft Heinz, Insight, Excel Energy, and Illumina lag on this holiday shortened week from the Nasdaq market site in Times Square in New York City. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at Nasdaq.